What's up guys welcome to iGeeks blog and today I am again here solving one of your problems. I seem to really really like solving you guys' problems because well I like it and you appreciate it. So let's get started with today's video. So as you've already seen from the title of this video the problem we're solving today is fixing your MacBook from water damage. If you've accidentally spilled water or well coffee or tea on it then here's what you have to do although i sincerely hope it's just water because if it's tea or coffee or any other liquid then that's a world of trouble my friend anyway here's what you should do the first and the foremost thing you must do is unplug your max charger doing this will cut off any additional flow of electricity to your macbook which means any additional damage will be stopped and we should always stop us from getting electrocuted right so this is the number one thing you should do the next logical step would be to completely shut down your MacBook, turn it off, shut it down. Do not do anything else on it. Shut it down and if you can't use the trackpad to shut it down, then just tap and hold the power button of your MacBook. That will cause it to shut down. Step number three, if you've got any accessories connected to your MacBook, any additional peripherals, remove them. It could be a USB drive, it could be an external hard drive, it could be anything, a wireless receiver for your mouse or your keyboard remove everything make sure none of those get damaged because if they do well then you're spending way more you're spending extra amount of money just to replace these peripherals that's not something we want so remove everything that is connected to your macbook want to know what the next logical step is just press the like button subscribe to iGeeks blog and turn on all notifications for the channel next step is to make sure that none of the water actually seeps inside the macbook so now that you've removed every accessory from your macbook it's shut down it's turned off completely just take a piece of paper towel or tissues or cotton in fact and just rub it over make sure all the water on the keyboard gets soaked into these towels and none of the water actually goes in now i'm sure you cannot i mean it's pretty obvious you can't prevent all of the water the 100 percent of the liquid from going inside but whatever you can see make sure you pat it dry step number five unplug the battery but only if you have the tools and if you have the knowledge you can still do it on your macbook even though it's all completely a unibody frame but if you have the tools and most importantly the knowledge then unplug the battery because this will prevent any sort of additional damage to the battery and replacing a macbook's damaged battery is way more difficult and way more expensive so let's try and stop that but again only if you have the tools if you don't then it's best to let it rest or visit an apple service center next up once you've done all of this just let your macbook sit for 48 hours that's two days by the way for those of you who can't do maths but let it sit let it dry for two days don't do anything on it don't try and turn it back on nothing just let it sit let it dry let it recuperate kind of like you know recovering from a bad hangover after a long day of drinking just let it rest next up after you've waited a couple of days maybe two maybe three try and turn your macbook back on if it works perfect if it doesn't here's what you do in fact even if it does work Here's what you do, contact Apple support, set up an appointment with them, make sure you get your MacBook checked by professionals, make sure that everything inside is fine because even if you've managed to dry out all the liquid, if the, all the liquid has been evaporated, there still could be some inside of the MacBook in the logic board in the main circuitry which could be damaging to the MacBook in the long run. So get it checked by professionals, make sure none of the damage is inside and you're, then you're good to go. These are the seven steps you should follow if your MacBook gets damaged by a liquid. But before you go, I have one more pro tip for you. Make sure you keep all your liquids away from your MacBook in the future. Make sure none of it gets spilled on it. I'm sure accidents do happen, but try and make sure that they don't. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.